I'm down at Burstow Victoria Rugby League Club tonight to watch the under 12s versus Dewsbury Moor. A nice feisty derby match that will hopefully warm us all up on this cold and wet Thursday evening, to be honest with you. But the reason why I'm down here is because Nexus Workspace are actually sponsoring Burstow Victoria under 12s this season. And the ex rugby league player Wayne Godwin, aka Wagger from Rugby AM, is coming down to present them with their new kits. I need Go. Sponsorship came from um, obviously our coach uh, Ethan and Matt, Matt's uh, Ethan's dad. He kindly put his hand up last season and you know said that Nexus would be uh, interested in uh, being his main sponsor on on last season's gear and it got to the beginning of this season and we've actually changed suppliers so we didn't really need a new kit but being a little bit cheeky I asked Matt if we could uh, put his hand up again and you know credit to Nexus to Matt and you give us the money and we've got a whole new range we've got all new leisure wear coming a brand new kit brand new supplier and it looks looks awesome as you'll see tonight Wagger, it's he's like a he's like a bouncy ball. He's ace. Um, I'm excited. Kids are excited, and it's it's probably one of them actually because we're going through a bit of a tough time at the moment with results. Results probably not saying the effort and performance going in, but hopefully Wagger coming down tonight he can you know give him a bit of energy and a bit of a boost, and hopefully he can get us a over over line tonight, local derby. It's an habit you get stuck in. Only us, all of us can get out of it and it's going to come from hard work. It's going to be hard work out there tonight because it's wet, it's boggy and there's going to be knock-ons from both sides. What I don't need is people getting on people's back when mistakes happen because nobody means it. Be a team, you've got to back each other through the good, through the bad. And that's the only way we're going to get that win tonight, boys. What the boys have said, I know you've had a tough run and I've, I've played in some tough tips. I've played at Wigan, I've played Cats Hall. You always go through tough times. That's where you need to keep together as a squad and a team. I know new shirts, I'm going to watch the first half. I'm going to have a look at you guys and, and just do what you enjoy doing. Just play, play for the shirt, play for the pride, play with your heart. Control the ball in these conditions, run hard, tackle hard, do the simples tonight. And everything else will look after itself. Just have each other's back with the new shirts, boys. Loads of talk, loads of passion, loads of commitment and just enjoy it. All right? Good boy. Come on. Come on. Watch it, boys. Have a good start. Looking well. Well, the match is about to start, so there's only one last thing to say, really. Come on, Burstall. Yeah, you, 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 you listen. 
Yeah, you're well capable when we're talking about all these big boys, right? You're as big as them all now. It's all right saying what about me. You've got to apply yourself on that pitch and say, yeah, I am one of these big ones. I am one of the strong ones. Are we going to get his hands in and we're going to do a few kickoffs? Yeah. Hands up, hands up. It's on you, three cheers, yo. Harry, come on, on It's on you, loud. What? <laughs> I can't understand why we're, why we're so deflated, right? These are probably the form team in the league at the moment. And you've held them. There's too many mouse in here at half time before the game and not enough doing it out there. Minnie just said he's not the good, he's not the kicker, but he's the only one who's put a kick in. Owen, you need to step up a little bit more. Ethan, you might tuck a ball in. Again, you're your biggest player on field for us. You're the strongest player for us. You need to get your hands on the ball, yeah? Like Lee just said, these are the form team in this league. The smashed up and the smashed kicker. Right, half time. You know, to a person watching this game, you'd say Bristol have dominated that half. Yeah. Can, how many times are they on our goal line? What? Hardly any. How many times what? are we on their goal line? Oh, yeah. Now listen to me. Right, that could work against us because they could get so happy with defending our line because we're not being a little, we're not being smart enough with ball. Right, we've got to change it up a little bit, yeah. Sam's marking me out the game. He's smashing me every time. Why do you take me as a dummy at the line? Send, send Charlie or send Charlie or Lennon out back in the goal right through. Yeah, he's running away from him every time. Yeah. He don't want none of it. Yeah. Get, get it back in this huddle now. Come on. Get back on this pitch. Come on, boys. Yeah. Go out and I want this the loudest bad this Come on. I'm just satisfied enough. I know he's going to get louder than me. <laughs> Better. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right, listen. you're giving it, you're giving in. You've got to go back out and show some Yeah, hey, listen, listen. Right, he's been nowhere in the game. The only time he's interested is down here. He's not bothered down there. Come on. Now go and show it. Come on. <laughs> Go on, Joe. Go on, Joseph. Go on, Yeah, we first half we held them out. We didn't do much after that, we held them out. Yeah? Alright, I, I admit we did dominate it. If we're honest, we didn't really look like we scored it, did we, first half? I'm sorry for nothing on board. Listen, it happens. Nothing's happened, it doesn't matter. You, you're more than made up for it, didn't you? They dropped in the elbow, subtly pulled you down, milked every penalty. But we've been saying it for weeks on, we've got to be a little bit smarter. Improve, there is signs of improvement, I can't lie. There is signs of improvement. Look at the state of his face. Who else, Charlie? Look at the state of his face. Full of blood. That, that, that shows commitment to me. We need to get into that bit again, that first try. Yeah, because that game totally changes then. Their heads go down. Except this time it were our heads that go down. Talent wise, we're not losing it on talent because man for man, I'd take you guys over them. That's the scrum's fault. That's not his fault. The scrum needs to be a lot stronger. We'll work on that. Now we've noticed what, 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 what's gone wrong there, but it's not his fault. So get the corner flags in, get the post protector in, and we'll have a talk in there. Right. So the match has come to an end, and unfortunately, Bristol Victoria have lost 16 4 to Dewsbury Moor. It was 0 0 at half time, and it was a great performance in that first half because Dewsbury Moor are the form team at the minute. But two quick tries in the second half really set the events in motion, and Dewsbury Moor ended up winning 16 4. But if Bristol play like they did in that first half for the rest of the season, then I'm sure they'll win more than they'll lose.